episode, I'm going to speak with you. Well, not with you, at you, because I'm the only one speaking. And only I get to speak, so I'll speak to you about words. And those little squirrels and whirls, dots and dashes, that make sense of words. In their written form, punctuation marks. I, yeah, everyone hates that. Now, you're an erudite lot, lot I know. <laughs> you only have to witness the feats of intellectual prowess at Republic's quiz night, not to mention athleticism, such as ping pong balls being spat into pots, <laughs> marshmallows <laughs> being shoved into mouths in a chubby bunny way, and eating bananas in one go. But I digress. Uh, where was I? Oh. Oh yeah, being an erudite lot, many of you, if not all of you, will have come across this classic. Oh, where is it? Here it is. Eats, shoots, <laughs> and leaves. <laughs> the author, <laughs> Lynn Truss, says it shows that punctuation really does matter and explains it as thus. A panda walks into a cafe, he orders a sandwich, eats it, then draws a gun and fires two shots in the air. Why? asks the confused waiter as a panda makes towards the exit. The panda produces a badly punctuated wildlife manual and tosses it over his shoulder. I'm a panda, he says at the door. Look it up. The waiter turns to the relevant entry and sure enough finds an ex explanation. Panda, large black and white, bear-like mammal, native to China, eats, shoots and leaves. So punctuation really does matter, even if it's only occasionally a matter of life or death, apparently. Of course, we bawdy English <laughs> translated that into something <laughs> really rude. <laughs> the Australians of which I'm also now proudly one, contextualised it as this. A wombat eats roots and leaves. So we see that an errant comma can not only change the meaning of a sentence, but the meaning of the actual words. So, not only watch your P's and Q's and dot your I's and cross your T's, keep an eye on those naughty commas. And a word of advice to you blokes, it's unbecoming to be a wombat. <laughs>